plastics, the revolutionary material of the 21st century. As a material, plastics are indispensable and a growth enabler for an industrial and consumer economy. Very integral in our day-to-day -day lives and the lifeline of all technological developments. Every new invention or innovation has a plastic component. On 14th July 1945, a significant and remarkable organization came into existence. The All India Plastics Manufacturers Association or AIPMA. The tireless efforts of the association bore fruit and mighty oaks grew from little acorns planted in those early days. I must say that this is a pioneer in the whole plastic industries. This association has worked in bit by bit to make the progress for the plastic industries. Today, AIPMA has truly revolutionized the plastics industry in India and makes a considerable impact on its growth and prosperity. From its very inception, the association was focused to play a key role in taking the Indian plastics industry to the world. AIPMA is now a pan-India association based in Mumbai with regional offices in Delhi, Chennai and Kolkata representing all segments across the value chain in plastics processing. So I see a vast scope for the plastic processing industry to flourish and IPMA can play a very pivotal role in charting the growth of the plastic processing industry in the country. I wish IPMA all the success. Today, as we celebrate this scintillating journey of 70 years, let us now take you back into our journey in a decade-wise recapitulation of our past presidents and the significant achievements of AIPMA under their ages. We are privileged to have some of our pioneers with us. All our presidents, the who's who in the industry, are astute visionaries, having worked honorary for this organization for the betterment of the industry. AIPMA is rich in its experience of 70 years but continues to be young at heart in its enthusiasm because of the collective dedication of its leaders and members. In the coming decade, AIPMA will forge ahead with larger initiatives and efforts to support the industry to grow and flourish further. journey ahead will see greater glory, greater achievement and greater commitment because at the core of AIPMA is its enthusiasm for looking beyond the horizons.
the best thing that i have found about ipma is that they are very much in tune with the time with the trends i think this trend of really keeping in tune with the times has actually made them also a torch bearer for progress of plastic industry in india i wish them all the best for their next 70 years today the association has as many as 2500 members from 172 cities and towns of india and is the premier body of the plastics industry in india being a proud member of uh, aipma it is like being in a family that celebrates their grandfather's 70th birthday aipma through several initiatives is proactive in knowledge sharing both as a resource body and exchange programs as well as technology upgradation aipma is invited to submit the pre budget memorandum on behalf of the plastics industry by the finance ministry every year cipet and apma has worked together in this endeavor i am sure in future cipet and apma will further reinforce their relationship and work together for the growth of petrochemical industry and also plastic waste management it has played a pivotal role in founding plast india along with six other founder member organizations aipma organizes plastic vision india a mega exhibition every 3 years the largest most acclaimed and one of the top 10 plastics exhibitions in the world plastic vision india 2017 will be the 10th edition and a ufi certified event it also hosts plastic vision arabia every 2 years plastic vision arabia will host its third edition in 2016 both these have grown from strength to strength our country offers large domestic market for plastic product in the country is still a scope to introduce several varieties of new plastic product to meet the growing aspiration of the economy we expect aipma to be the catalyst of the growth of indian plastic industry in future the forecast for the per capita consumption of plastics is 30 kilos by 2025 a three four jump from the current per capita consumption of 9.7 kilos this massive growth would entail a huge investment in machineries and stupendous growth in manpower requirements plastic industry according to me is an ideal industry for implementing the vision of make in india and made in india i would like to congratulate aipma for completing 70 glorious years of their existence it is a wonderful moment for us in aipma who has traveled 70 years we are about to enter a golden era for the plastic industry of india we would like to set up skill development center for the for the train manpower to bridge the gap as well as design centers and many other gaps which are going to happen the new entrepreneurs will get the opportunity bigger opportunity in in the plastic industry and for that also we are going to start the courses for management and like that Nineteen forty-five to two thousand fifteen, it has been a journey of seventy glorious years for Ekma. Our past presidents have been the doyens of the plastic industry, knowing about plastics on their fingertips. From an eighty square feet office to this present independent building and zonal offices in New Delhi, Kolkata, and Chennai, Ekma has grown in leaps and bounds. We are in the forefront for the last seventy years. to service the growth and solve the problems of the industry i appeal to the entire plastic fraternity to join hands with ipma and complement each other to achieve higher goals
AIPMA spearheading the plastics revolution 70 years old.